hey you guys welcome back to our channel so in today's video we just have a lot going on i've been in the kitchen all day i wanted to cook yadel a nice meal today and not only that he hung up two fans on our deck area because we love to sit out there and just eat dinner or eat lunch so we are very excited to have these fans installed because it is so hot it is getting so hot in florida it is crazy so he did that and then i was just in the kitchen but this morning i went in and made some maizena if you guys don't know what this is it is so so good so it's either maizena or you can call it crema um, it's kind of like a porridge, like an oatmeal type of thing. I would say you can make it thick and make it like a tembleque. Um, but you could do it different ways. You can add fruit to it, cinnamon, vanilla. You can do whatever you would like. Now, we just keep it very simple. Um, I just do four cups of milk, four tablespoons of maizena, a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt, some vanilla, um, a tablespoon of butter and about four or five tablespoons of sugar and it is just so delicious it gets nice and thick and creamy it's I wouldn't say oatmeal oatmeal because it doesn't have the actual like oats but it is very creamy and liquidy so you can either keep it to a consistency where you can drink it or you can keep it to a consistency where you can actually eat it with a spoon which is what i will be doing today while the stove is off i add in my milk my maizena my salt my vanilla butter and i start whisking that so that way it doesn't clump up you don't want the stove to be on because it's like cornstarch it will start to clump and you'll have these clumpy pieces inside of the porridge and you don't want that so you want to whisk everything and then once you get all of that combined and it's like a liquid you don't see no clumps or anything you will turn on your stove and start adding your sugar and dissolving your sugar and just stirring it now this part you have it's very tedious you have to stir it until it's actually finished because if not it will cook very fast it can burn very fast and it also can clump up very fast so i'm just taking my time and just letting it heat up and get nice and hot and i'm just stirring and stirring until it gets nice and thick now Yadel doesn't like it super thick so i didn't do it super thick but at this point you can add in also some cinnamon sticks you can add in fruit if that is what you like you can do different things but we just left it plain and i just put some cinnamon on top and it came out absolutely delicious it's nice and creamy and sweet and just hot it is so good if you've never tried it you definitely have to try it and let me know what you guys think Now going into these fans, we actually got these fans months ago and we were wanting to finish the deck and never actually did. We still need a whole bunch of trim. And if you guys know, we shop at Joe's Stuff and Such because it is a lot cheaper for wood and like mobile home supplies. So we just haven't been because Yadel's been working. But not only that, they haven't actually had the one by twos. I think that's what it is. One, one by two or two by three something uh they haven't actually had that which is what we use for our trim around the home so we've just been <laughs> waiting it out and we're gonna wait till they get some more in stock he gets stuff randomly so it's not something that we can just jump on the bandwagon and be like you know we want 20 of those it's it's random so it's just whenever they get a palette of that then we can go in and get some um, so Yadel is just going to install the fans anyways. It's okay. Even if your house is not completely done and it is halfway done, just install it. If you want it, just install it. It's hot. We've been wanting two fans out here so that way the wind can pick up because it is too hot out here, you guys. Like we are struggling in this heat. 
So he just decided, let's just install them. It doesn't even matter. And we're just going to install them. Now, we did paint the deck white, and it is not staying white. Our home is not going to actually be white. But we are waiting to extend the home to actually paint everything. And like I said, and do all the roofing and all that good stuff. So that is why things are just all white over here. It's not going to be like that. We definitely want to add some color to this home. It is our forever home and we love it so we want to add some nice color to it with time it takes time you guys so he's just going to go in and install all this we had the wiring already because he actually installed all the wiring for these two fans years ago so that was awesome I will link these fans down below. They were super easy to install, super affordable, and it was quick. It only took him about 20 minutes to install one fan. So each fan took less than an hour, which is what we like over here because we are trying to, <laughs> we need time, okay? So he just installed them really quick. And, and then I just kept on cooking in the kitchen, which I'll be showing you what I'm making. I made some ribs and just, oh guys, it came out so delicious. Like so good but he was uh, definitely hungry after everything that he did today he put up fans he's cutting the grass like he did so much and i just appreciate my husband so much you guys y'all don't know how much i appreciate this man and i own i have a video as well he is a man of all trades because the other day he was like i want some tamales and i'm like i do not know how to make tamales but he was showing me and we just hung out so i have a video of him actually doing tamales for you guys and i think it's just so sweet that he just he just does it it's not even like uh that man of mine i appreciate him so much you guys i don't i don't know if you guys know how much i appreciate that man but he is just so good uh, definitely definitely pray for your husband or pray for your wife and ask god what you want and god will give you what you need for sure but he always answers prayers like god is just so amazing so i definitely prayed for my husband that will be a whole story on a different video but i definitely prayed for him and he is everything that i could have ever imagined god truly blessed me with him These fans came out absolutely beautiful. Like they are so big. They're 60 inches and they are just so big in this area and look so nice. They, you guys, from far, it just looks so beautiful. Like when you're standing out further out by the gate, uh, they are just so, so nice and they work so well. They have lights like we couldn't ask for better fans. I will leave all the links down below to these fans. And this video is not sponsored at all. We just truly like the fans like so bomb. Um, In the beginning, we had some issues with this fan and we had to get like it was like two different parts that we had to get, which we just went to Ace and got them. And it was a whole ordeal, but at the end of the day, they are pretty good fans. And we ended up really, really loving them. So that was a whole different ball game with the fans. But 
we got it done and they're up and they're running and we just truly love how they look like they just look really good even with the it was like two two parts that we needed like two type of screws or something and we did go and get those from ace and they worked really really good so we were a little upset in the beginning but they are really really good fans now so it's all a challenge you guys it's a challenge with things okay especially fixing a home it is challenging that is when you are <laughs> yes like the challenges come so right here he is just installing the remotes to the fans which i loved this little area right here because you can open the door click the fan on and off you actually don't have to take it off of the um stand that they're on to turn on the fans which is really really nice that's what i like that is a <laughs> that is a good thing so that's just how everything came out with the fans and i hope you guys enjoyed that little snippet of him installing all of that now going into the dinner i'm just cutting up some ribs and i'm also going to put these ribs in some water with some vinegar and let it sit for a little bit I like to do that just so that way it can get that vinegary flavor, but also clean up the meat. Not like clean it, clean it, but just take off that top layer. Uh, and I'm just going to cut them and also cut little slashes in them so they can cook on the barbecue really, really good and on the inside. And then I'm just gonna go in and season them. I already put some rice on, so that was a great thing. I put rice on the instapot and i'm going to also be making some beans potato salad and some green beans mm, chef's kiss you guys If you guys been here for a while then you guys already know that our deep freezers are outside and i have to go out there in order to get anything that we want that is the actual storage that we put it in we put both of our freezers out there and they work so well out there i was worried about just different things like you guys were saying like the rats and stuff but honestly we haven't had any problems thank god because i would go crazy like i hunted these deep freezers down on facebook market and i'm just so glad that i found them one is an actual standing up deep freezer and the other one is an actual like just um i wouldn't say lay down like just a regular freezer so yeah i just went out there because i had prepped some beans uh, a couple of weeks ago and i put it in the deep freezer so i can freeze them and i normally do that if i'm on a time crunch i will make beans and then i will freeze half of them and cook the other half that day but i will freeze half of them just for when i am on a time crunch i have beans to pull out of the deep freezer and i can get dinner cooking because when you have to pressure cook bag beans it takes forever it takes about an hour so <laughs> i am very happy to have this in the deep freezer ready to go and i can just put them on the stove and get ready to cook them and season them So with the beans, I just use some lard and I don't have any actual lard on hand. This isn't like the best, but it is good for what I need it for. So that is one that I use and I get that from Walmart. It's about $11 for that big jug and I absolutely love it, but it's not for everybody. I know it's not. I'm just going to go in with some tomato paste, some of my sofrito and my sofrito is watered down because I took it out of the deep freezer. This is sofrito that I deep freeze and I always have on hand. Um, and it comes out kind of like that if I keep it in there for too long. I think that was made probably like a couple of months ago. So 
yeah <laughs> it comes out that way but i use some adobo some tomato puree which i love to make my own tomato sauce not puree but i do like to make my own tomato sauce but as of right now i don't have tomatoes so i'm just waiting for the garden to do what it's got to do to give me some tomatoes and i'm just going to put a couple of tablespoons of sugar in the beans because yadel likes it like kind of not sweet but it balances the acidity and also the saltiness of the beans and then i'm going to go in with some meat the meat from the ribs i took it out of the water with the vinegar and i'm just going to put some in here so we can have i'm also going to crush up these beans and yadel likes the beans to be kind of like refried beans that's the only way that i can put it that makes sense and i'm just going to put those in there and let that cook Now going in with the potato salad, I am actually going to leave the skin on the potato salad, but I will be washing the potatoes once I get them all in this pot. I'll just wash them and I'm just going to boil them with some eggs. And in the potato salad, I mixed a bunch of things that I like because I like it kind of like, um, not, not anyway, you just have to try it. You guys, you have to try it to understand. I use relish i use mayonnaise mustard salt and pepper and normally i would use some paprika but i don't have any on hand so we're just doing what we gotta do i also leave them really chunky this is kind of like a potato egg salad because i know a lot of people are just like that's not potato salad that has eggs in it but I like my potato salad to have eggs in it. I also like it chunky and so does Yadel. So I am leaving everything in big chunks, including the eggs as well. And it just comes out so delicious, you guys. Y'all have to try these recipes. I'm just gonna go and wash those potatoes and I'm gonna let them cook. And when I get back, I'm gonna just mix everything in together and put them away in the ice box until everything finish, until everything's nice and cold i like a nice cold potato salad and i'm really excited to eat <laughs> Now I'm just going to go in and season the ribs. I did dump the water with the vinegar and just rinse them with some water. I'm going to go in with some adobo sazon, the tomato puree, some sweet and honey barbecue sauce, and also some sofrito. Now you guys, am I the only one that's struggling on a farm? I know this is like a huge farm problem, but I have flies all over on this farm it is picking up it is starting to be summer and these animals are just stinky so we just have so many farm so many farms so many flies inside of the house i've been putting up traps and just trying to get stuff picked up and not leave stuff out just so that way there's not flies because they just come during this season during this time and it just sucks like i really really do hate it but I hope I'm not the only one struggling in this hard time of fly season on the farm. I also put the ribs on the barbecue because we've been actually barbecuing on here for a little while and I just love it. I love to barbecue outside. It just changes the taste of the food. You can barbecue outside or you could bake or fry but if i can choose i would definitely choose barbecue any day <laughs> a nice barbecue ribbed like mm, 
so delicious now just going in with the potato salad like i said we like everything chunky around here so i'm just cutting those eggs into big chunks and i'm just going to go in with some mayo mustard relish salt and pepper and like i said i would do some paprika but i didn't have any but you definitely can if that is what you like and it is so good and y'all yes i do use a lot of mayo i do let's not talk about it but i love mayo i am a mayo girl hands down through and through so good if y'all like mayo let me know down below but i love mayo yadel loves miracle whip we're too different he likes that sweet savory type of mayo and i just love a good mayo but mayo is the best now going in with the green beans i just cut them up into small pieces you can leave them big if you'd like but i like them a little bit smaller like bite size and i'm just gonna go in with some butter honey garlic some brown sugar and some uh, red chili peppers and that's all that i did that that is all that i do and it comes out so delicious they're kind of spicy but sweet and salty and they're just delicious you can skip out on the red peppers if you don't want them to be so salty and i just put the lid on them and just let them cook and let them get that caramelly kind of look to them and that's just about all that i do and it just comes out so delicious like they came out so good i could eat the whole pan but definitely try this recipe and let me know what you guys think about all these recipes i would try to leave um the recipes down below but i did say them in the video so i might not leave them this is just like a measure with your heart type of thing so that's what i would do i would measure with your heart and i also have a beans recipe i will try to link that as well and just some white rice this is the outcome of the food i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today and just a simple day in the life living in a mobile home cooking and just remodeling and making over and just everything all above we love you guys and we'll see you in our next video